In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use the TI-84 graphing calculator to draw the inverse of a given function. In this demonstration, I'm going to be using the function 1 3rd x raised to the third plus 2. So the first thing you would need to do is come over to your graphing calculator and hit the y equals button and enter that original function, which I have already done here. Then I am going to choose to zoom square and go look at that original function. So the green line there is my original function. Now, as you recall, the inverse is the reflection of the original function across the y equals x line. So for a better visualization here, I'm going to go ahead and enter that y equals x line onto my graph. So I'm going to come back into y equals, I'm going to arrow down, and I'm going to put my x in. As you can see right here, I have chose to go ahead and change the color of that line to red and make it dotted just to indicate that it is my y equals x line which is the reflection line. So again I'm going to zoom square. We have the original function now in green and we've got the y equals x line on the calculator. Now I'm going to choose the draw feature of the calculator to draw the inverse. So I will do second draw. From there a menu comes up and it is number 8, draw inverse. So I'm going to select 8 and that takes me out to right here with a blinking cursor. It is waiting for you to tell it where you stored that original function. We stored that original function in y sub 1 so you're going to need to call up your y bars. You can do that shortcut wise by doing alpha f4 all of your y vars come up there. We stored our original equation in y sub 1, so I'm going to select 1. And then as soon as I do that and I hit enter, it's going to go out and it will graph the inverse function. It's a nice little visual. It clearly shows you that the original function, which was in green, now has been reflected across that y equals x line and produced the inverse function. Now the only um, bad part of this, since you did use the draw feature of the program, um, nothing on the calculator is going to work. I cannot trace along that inverse function. I could not do second and calc and find that x-intercept. None of the features are going to work because I used the draw feature on the calculator. So basically this is just so that you can see a visual of what the original function and the inverse function looks like once it's been reflected across that y equals x line. Um, definitely thanks for watching be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're really liking the videos and share with your friends thanks